In the earliest parts of space and time, something appeared something so strange, so densely packed and so luminous that it shook the very fundamentals of cosmology. When the James Webb Space Telescope shifted its focus to the very end of TEE, I saw a very end of time it caught something we had never seen before, countless glowing red dots in the distance. Embers dotted across the cosmic canvas. However, these were not stars. It didn't look like galaxies to us. In fact, their very existence seemed impossible in violation of the rules of structure, light, gravity, and time. For over a two-year period, these tiny red spots confused. Astronomers by implying that the laws of physics, as we understand them, may not always have applied. As of right now, new observations are emerging. A startling new truth is surfacing. What if the early universe was governed by a different set of rules? What if, in its infancy, it was something else entirely? It started with what appeared to obs be a glitch. The James Webb Space Telescope, opened late in 2022, started returning images filled with tiny, hazy red points, yet absurdly bright. They weren't red-shifted galaxies moving away from us. These objects were red because they were, covered by thick clouds of cosmic dust swallowing every other wavelength of light. And they weren't uncommon. These tiny red spots appeared in almost every deep image Webb took. However, when astronomers computed their distances, what they discovered was even more shocking. These mysterious objects existed around 600 million. Years after the Big Bang and vanished only a billion years later, that opening is cosmically narrow. However, in that brief era, these dots erupted into being across the universe and then disappeared completely. What were they? Why were they? So bright. And, most importantly, how could such a small object contain the power of a galaxy? At first, scientists assumed these red dots were merely dense. Small galaxy systems in their early stages, like our Milky Way. But the numbers didn't add up. They released too much light. The inferred mass was too great, and their size just. 1% the width of our galaxy yet, with star counts rivaling the largest structures ever built. That degree of stellar density ought to have torn them apart. Stars colliding with stars, breaking apart into black holes with energy that should have been fatal to their own existence. This was a paradox. The physical constraints of the universe claimed that these galaxies couldn't exist not like this, not so soon. But Webb wasn't lying. These dots were real. The theories failed. Some astronomers wondered if they were seeing dark matter effects or unknown interactions among the basic particles. Others spoke of something exotic, new forces, hidden dimensions or relics from a pre-Big Bang universe. If these structures were composed of stars, then something was terribly wrong with our understanding of time, mass, and matter. Then came the most radical theory of all. These weren't galaxies. They were monsters' massive black holes, born rapidly, expanding unimaginably, and buried beneath clouds of dust and gas. The dots were not glowing stars. Okay. They were blazing because of accretion disks, massive spheres of matter descending into enormous black holes that warped the entire space. This would describe their small size and awe-inspiring brightness, but it raised a new difficulty. How did these voids form so fast? In the present universe, central black holes make up a tiny fraction of a galaxy's mass. But in these ancient red dots, the black holes accounted for nearly all the mass. This changes every principle of galaxy evolution. Instead of black holes growing within galaxies, possibly galaxies were forming around them. This would imply black. Holes appeared first. And if that were true, it could mean the early universe didn't just change. It exploded into complexities brought about by gravitational monsters unlike anything we see today, still. There was skepticism. Without definitive evidence, scientists required more than speculations. Then they discovered it buried in the water. Vapor. 
When astronomers studied the emission lines of these little red dots, they noticed something strange. The signals from hydrogen, the bomber lines, were thicker than expected. This is a smoking gun. In astrophysics, broadened emission lines mean motion, high speed, violent rotation, the Doppler effect on a galactic scale. The only way gas could move that quickly was if it were circling something with a lot of weight. And in each instance, something pointed to a large black hole. In fact, the gas was moving 10 times as quickly as it does around the central black hole of our own galaxy. Uh, no star cluster could explain that. Ka. No infant galaxy could mimic that kind of speed. Okay. This was the final confirmation. These were not star factories. They were black hole engines, devouring matter under the cover of the early universe and doing so in ways that defied every known cosmic model of growth. Astrophysics rules had just been broken, not by theory, but by observation. As more data poured in, an even darker realization started to emerge. What if these red dots weren't unique to the ancient universe? Suppose these black holes never completely vanished but simply disappeared. One reason these ancient structures eluded astronomers for so long was because they didn't produce X-rays the signature byproduct of black hole activity. That alone raised questions about the black hole hypothesis until a connection was made. The answer wasn't in what they emitted, but in what they couldn't. X-rays were trapped, absorbed and dispersed by the thick gas covering these objects. The radiation was always present. It was smothered in a muted voice. And this silence, masked an entire period of cosmic evolution, a hidden phase where black holes grew unseen. Fed by enormous reservoirs of matter, quietly building the monstrous cores of galaxies. The James Webb revealed not only anomalies, but also a missing chapter in the universe's story, a time when light was consumed more quickly than it could move. And the strongest objects in existence were cloaked in invisibility in space. This time period may not be finished. If the process occurred once, it may continue to occur now in galaxies so far away and dusty that we simply haven't noticed. We are forced to ask a frightening question. Have we been looking in the wrong places at the wrong time? For decades, astronomers have constructed models of galaxy formation, star birth, and the expansion of the universe using visible light and reliable data. However, what James Webb is revealing is something far messier, an early universe dominated by chaotic growth hidden from view but driven by extreme gravitational forces. These tiny red dots are more than just a curiosity. They are a blueprint of violent beginnings a time when galaxies were ripped apart, not built with care, shaped by forces that moved too quickly for rules to catch up. It hints that many of our deepest assumptions about when galaxies and stars first formed, how they assembled, and how long black holes take to grow could be billions of years off. The universe has provided access to a realm of violent acceleration where physics play by different rules or perhaps no rules at all. And if so, what else may be concealed beyond that window, waiting to test not only our theories but the very underlying principles of what we believe space and time even are. And then they were gone every single one of these red dots, if not hundreds, thousands, scattered across the sky and vanished from the universe's record just 1.6 billion years after the Big Bang. Not gradually, not over time, they were gone, transformed into something else. But to what end? The most probable choices are quasars, brilliant galaxy cores powered by black holes. However, even that transition is abrupt, like skipping sections in a book. Something triggered these tiny things to burn through their dusty cocoons, exposing luminous cores and reshaping their galaxies. Perhaps star formation was pushed outward, reducing gas thickness. Possibly violent mergers deconstructed the structure. Or maybe the objects simply exhausted their fuel collapsing into quieter, colder forms. Whatever took place, there were no survivors. We see nothing like these red dots to Dane,
in nearby galaxies, not in any modern black hole system. They come from an era that is past where growth was unchecked, and physics was compelled to submit to an authority higher than gravity, something we may never meet again. And yet there are whispers. In an entirely unrelated survey, researchers stumbled upon a list of bizarre compact galaxies something eerily familiar, green peas. Unlike the red dots, these objects exist in the more recent universe. But they share some unnerving similarities, intense heat density emissions, and a short-lived presence. Despite differences in epoch and color, some astronomers now think they might be the evolutionary cousins of those early monsters, maybe fragments. Maybe mere reflections of the same thing happening again in a different era. But the key point remains, if tiny red dots were possible then, and if green peas are still around, how many other phases of cosmic evolution have we completely missed? How many species of galactic structures have come and gone? unseen, unrecorded, and misunderstood. Webb is doing more than capturing distant light. It's revealing the shadows, the remnants of previously unknown realities. The more we stare into those shadows, the clearer it becomes. Physics is not flawed its wider than our wildest dreams, and the early universe was its wild frontier. The little red dots were never supposed to exist. They didn't exist in the equations or the models at all. They weren't part of the elegant diagrams taught in textbooks or the neatly ordered timelines of cosmic history. And yet, they are real, ingrained in the first billion years of the universe, like scars in space-time. What James Webb uncovered isn't just a new chapter in astronomy. It's a cautionary tale that the cosmos is more disorganized, more violent, and more enigmatic than we ever dared to imagine. These black hole-powered anomalies shattered our comprehension of galaxy growth, how matter behaves, and how light moves through the fog of creation. For decades, we held on to the belief that physical laws were universal, fixed, immutable. But now, we must ask the unthinkable. What if those rules were forged in chaos, not tranquility? What if the universe evolved not by rules but by rebellion? The James Webb Space Telescope has shown us more than what's out there. It demonstrates how little we truly comprehend our heritage and how much of reality is concealed awaiting detection. In wavelengths, we've only just begun to decode. The little red dots are gone now, but their legacy lives on not as a problem, but as a surprise. A glimpse through a keyhole into a universe that refuses to be controlled, where physics bends. Light lies and time blazes at the boundaries of reason. What else, then, does the universe conceal? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Do you believe these black holes rewrite cosmic history? Or do you think we've only just touched the surface of something far deeper, something the laws of physics cannot contain? If this was helpful to you, please like and share it with someone who still believes all the answers are known. And remember to subscribe for more insights directly from the universe's outer limits.